Welcome to part two of how to check and replace your light globes. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to change the globes if they are out. First, as per the previous episode, we'll have a walk around the car and find what globe is out. In some cases, it'll tell you on the dash. Once we have found the globe that is out, we have to figure out how to remove it, check what numbers are on it so we can get a replacement, and then simply put the new one in and put it all back together. First, I just want to show you something real quick. It's real common for people to put a 24 volt globe into a 12 volt system, which all cars are 12 volt systems. You'll see on the packages, they will say whatever the globe is. So in this case, I have a 12 volt, 21 watt globe. If I pick up this one here, I have a 12 volt, 21 dash five watt globe. That is because it's got two elements inside, which will be for a brake or a tail light or something like that. Now we pick up this one and it says 24 volt. 24 volt is usually for a truck or something of a heavy vehicle or something like that. We have a car. We do not want to put a 24 volt into a car. It will be brighter or it won't work or it could cause other issues. So we don't want that. We want to put the right globes in the right sockets. We also have different sorts of headlight globes and higher beam globes and wedge type globes and all sorts of globes. The best thing to do is for you to go to Repco or click their Amazon affiliate links that I have below and find the globe that has come out of your car. It will be a 12 volt something. 21 watt wedge, five watt something, whatever the case is, it will say it on the globe itself. And then you can go to Repco or click the Amazon affiliate link and buy what you need to buy. But for now, let's get to actually changing these globes. First things first, let's go to the back of the car and we'll have a look at the tail lights, brake lights, reverse and all that sort of stuff. Most cars will be fairly similar to this they'll have some sort of nut or screw or something like that. And then they'll have to be pulled out from where they are. They got a couple of little prongs that will push in. All right, so I'm just unscrewing the little Duvma Bob now, the little wing nut. Once I have that unscrewed, on this car there's only one. On most cars there are, there are usually there are usually two, if not three, on most cars. So I've got that nice and loose, as you can probably see there. And now, I'm just gonna stick my fingers in the little gap and give it a little shake and a pull. And that is how you do that. So you just unscrew these little screws here. Sometimes they will have clips rather than screws. But either way, it's pretty much the same thing. And voila. Now on this particular car, you can see the, the one of the globes is starting to go a little bit black. And you can see that the wedge type globe. You can just see the numbers there. So 12 volt, 16 watt. We know we can just go to Repco. We can either bring this globe with us so they can see a sample, or we can go to Repco and just tell them that we need a wedge globe that is 12 volt, 16 watt, and they should be able to find something like this. Then let's pretend we have my new globe because this one still works. And we just sit her back in there and reverse the process to put it all back together. I have lost one of the little screw things. So that's fine. There it is. All good. Stop looking. Stop looking. 
So now we just line everything back up. Sometimes it's easier said than done. And put our screw back on. Most cars will be pretty much the same. Some cars will be a separate socket type, whereas this is just a, a complete assembly that just the globes push into. The ones that have a wiring loom and a separate socket per globe, they're just a matter of pushing them in softly and giving them a slight turn and they will pop out. Then you just put them back in. These globes you cannot get in the wrong way because they only go in one way. The basic principle is the same for the rear of 99% of cars. They're all pretty much similar to this. They've just got a slightly different socket style, which they're pretty self-explanatory once you get in there. Now to get to, to, get to the reverse lights or anything like that, uh, usually in a cover and that cover just pops off with sometimes a screwdriver but in this case my hands were just fine all right you can see our plug in there and there is that screw just there and I'll undo that screw which will pop out the light from the other side of the boot which will allow us to be able to get into that and change that cloak now, let's head over to the front. Fog lights, headlights, high beams, they are all pretty much the same sort of thing. It's just a matter of getting to them. You always have to come in from the back of the light, whether it's underneath, through the wheel arch, through the engine bay. Some cars you need to remove different parts to get access. Like my car, I can get to one of the globes, but not the other. So, I would have to start removing air boxes and stuff like that in order to be able to get to the other globes if necessary. But for now, I'll show you the one that I can get to and quickly what's happening. Alrighty, so this cover here will give us access to the back of the globe. So if we just give it a quick twist, pull that off. You can see it locks into these grooves. And there is our globe in there. So that once again, you just grab a hold of it and give it a twist. Now this particular one comes as a complete assembly, as you can see in my hands. You undo this by unpicking those little gray clips near my thumb one on either side and then just compare those numbers on the back with whatever you need to get from Repco or Amazon. Then we just put a back in that hole. They only line up once one way because of the tabs on either side. You just put that in, sit that in until it goes click, put your cover back on, and that is how you change the light globe. It's not that hard. So, that's the only ones that I can actually show you how to do because the rest of them involve taking a bunch of stuff off and I don't want to do that because I don't have to change them. So I'm not going to do that. So something that I have to mention is that with these headlight globes and high beam globes and things like that, like the one I just showed you, like these guys here, you don't want to touch the globe on them. You can touch the frame or the the... You can touch the frame or the plug terminals, 
but do not touch the globe itself because by touching it you'll leave oily residue on the on the glass which will then heat up in that one spot more than others which will cause damage to the globe and possibly uneven light distribution so to avoid damaging the globe prematurely just avoid touching the glass okay so that wraps up our two-part series on how to check and replace your light globes i hope it helps and if you have any more specific questions on your particular car because all cars are different if you have any questions on your specific car please feel free to either find me on instagram or drop me a comment below in the comments section and i'll try to help you out the best i can otherwise like and subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos like this and in closing stay safe keep greasy and have fun peace